me or for him? <laughs> she said it. She did say it. I can't believe it. I'm hurt. Yeah, I, I imagine. Didn't know you that long. Right, y'all want to face me? And I say, dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and to bless the marriage of Dakota and Sierra in holy matrimony. The binding covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ to adorn this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will for the procreation and of children and their nurture and the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Sarah and Dakota to now come to be joined before God and your witnesses. I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Dakota, will you have Sierra to be your wife and will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? I do. Right answer. Sierra, will you have Dakota to be your husband and will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? I do. Very good. Now I'm going to share with you a couple of words of scripture. And uh, although Paul didn't write this for people getting married, I'm telling you, if you remember some of these words, not all of them, but some of them, and decide to, to apply them every day, your marriage will be a whole lot easier. And when I finish reading it, I want you to affirm. It's not going to help hurt any of us to hear it, even me. Affirm that this isn't true. Paul wrote, As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, you are present with us right here, and we are, we are truly grateful for that. We're going to ask that you bless Dakota and Sierra as they pledge their lives to each other, that their love may continue to grow and be a true reflection of your love for us all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, what I want you to do, and this will be good because it will warm up your hands, I, I want you to join hands together, okay? And Dakota, I want you to look as deeply as you can oh, in Sierra, into Sierra's eyes. And I want you to repeat these words after me. I, Dakota, take you, Sierra. I, Dakota, take you, Sierra. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto, and thereto I, pledge I pledge myself, myself truly, truly with all my heart. With all my heart. Good. Same thing, see, I want you to look as deeply as you can into his eyes and repeat after me. I Sierra take you, Dakota. I Sierra take you, Dakota. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. Good. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Now, do y'all have rings? Yes.
Yes, thank you. Now, D Dakota, I want you to put Sierra's ring on the fourth finger of her left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. And Sierra, would you put Dakota's ring on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. Good. Let's pray. Eternal God, whose love is the source of everything that's good, we pray that the knowledge of your love may inspire this union that's now begun. Grant that Sierra and Dakota, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their life together. Seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without the fear of poverty, and grant them joy in their home. Father, keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun, that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Spirit against all temptation. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life that shall have no ending in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Since you have now pledged yourself to one another in the covenant of marriage and have made your declaration before God and these witnesses, I pronounce you to be, should be a drum roll. <laughs> Very good. I now pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, what God has joined together, let no one separate. As God's own, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, and crown all these things with love, which bind everything together in perfect harmony. Amen. Dakota, you may now kiss your wife. Yes! <laughs> 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 well, you gotta redo that because, like, I need a close up. <laughs> <laughs>